everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer and this is A Country Life and today I have for you guys a great big grocery haul. So it was time to restock the pantry and the fridge because it's summer and it just seems like we are on the go a lot and it's a trick to get to the grocery store let me tell you so let me just start by saying that i did buy two boxes of ice cream sandwiches mint chip and regular and those are in the freezer because it is way too hot to have those sitting out during the grocery haul okay so my grocery budget is right around 700 dollars a month and that is actually for seven people this menu plan is just about seven days worth i think i did um normally i do once a month shopping but it just has not been working Working out for the summer very well because we are busy and I do need it just seems like I need a little bit more quick food so anyway Thursday um, I am planning to do Swiss steak mashed potatoes and frozen veggies Friday we, we are going to do crock pot pork chops I actually found that in my freezer and thought I need to use that up uh, buttered noodles and salad we are going to do a supper of egg salad and peanut butter and jelly we're going to do a supper of Western style hamburgers and I wrote down onion rings and waffle fries, but Aldi did not carry either of those this time. I think since we had the storm outage, um, or the power outage due to the storm this week, they were awfully low on frozen food because I don't think things have gotten restocked very quickly. So I ended up, I'll show you what I got instead. I do have down here, we're gonna do just like Chinese food out of a bag, that's from Aldi. And I am gonna try a new recipe, baked egg rolls. We're gonna be doing some beef steak. I'm gonna marinate that early in the day. I'm gonna try another new recipe called butter dips. We're gonna have salad with that. And then Wednesday, uh, I'm going to make cucumber tea, and I probably won't be making that into sandwiches, cucumber tea sandwiches, but more of just like the cucumber salad uh, served on just like big romaine lettuce leaves. And then we'll do homemade mac and cheese because I know the kids are probably not going to like that, but they will like the homemade mac and cheese. And then I did just kind of get fixings for sandwiches, and I got pizza bites and some leftovers and brats. Those are kind of some lunch ideas for the days we don't have leftovers. I like to start out with the meat here I did pick up this great big bag um, bold country this is a new product at Aldi and it was cheaper per ounce to get these than in the smaller packages so I got those this time okay Joe you're gonna have to be quiet Joe's just laying on the floor I don't know why he's wearing a long sleeve shirt and a blanket because it is hot today but anyway hi Maria um, um, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for lunch today right Awesome. Okay, back to this. So the chicken breast here, this is going to be for when we have our, our Chinese food. And I feel like it's for something else, but I can't remember right now. Amber has been liking the original Chunk Light Tuna. She did not like from Aldi the uh, lemon pepper, which I accidentally bought last time. So I got four packs of that for her. She's the only one in the family that will eat tuna. And then, oh, Peter, you will eat tuna too? Okay, sorry about that. And then I also did pick up two packs of these pre-cooked stadium-style bratwursts from Aldi and two packs of the uncured beef franks. That'll most likely be a lunch or two lunches on days that we don't have enough leftovers. Still by the meat, I got two of these fully cooked bacon. We're planning on doing Western burgers, and so you're asking yourself what exactly is a western burger it's just going to be a hamburger so we'll grill hamburgers and then on top of that we'll put medium cheddar cheese bacon and then i got two different kinds of cheese either habanero jack cheese oh i think i told you that already and medium cheddar cheese and then on top of that we will put french fried onions where are those we will do there they are, French fried onions. And that is what we're gonna call a Western burger. I suppose you could put barbecue sauce on it too. That would probably be good. But I don't think anybody here will do that. I think they'll just stick with ketchup and mustard on top of that. I picked up roast beef, the rotisserie chicken breast, mesquite turkey breast, and oven roasted turkey breast. That is all for just sandwiches, obviously. We have a big, big weekend ahead of us. Another great big BMX weekend. Nationals is here in town. By the time you see this, Nationals will probably be over with, and hopefully everybody um, was safe and didn't get hurt and all those things. But 
Anyway, that's why we're stocking up on some of these different kinds of foods here. I picked up some bacon bits here. I don't know why. I don't really think I had a reason, but sometimes people like to throw those on their salads. It just makes the salad seem a little bit more uh, beefy, but I guess you can't say beefy because it's bacon. But anyway, some hard salami. I will roll like one of these here string cheeses in probably two or three pieces of the hard salami and that makes just a nice snack full of protein and low in carbohydrates and then for an, another quick lunch peter had asked if we could do pizza snacks sometimes so we're doing that and he's super pumped and then here's what i got instead of let's see the night i think it's the night we're doing steak or was it the night we're doing the western burgers i can't remember but anyway i was going to do the okay. onion rings and waffle fries but they didn't have it so i got seasoned fries from aldi's and also crinkle cut french fries for breakfast i did pick up a lot of cereal this is way more than a week to 10 days worth i got crispy rice this is the knockoff life cereal that aldi's carries on occasion this is the original and then i also got a cinnamon right there kids like that Peter had requested cinnamon toast crunch, so there we go. I did get a marshmallows and stars because, you know, healthy for breakfast is super important around here. And then corn squares. Joe really likes those, and those can also be made into like puppy chow or other things if we want to. One pack of Pop-Tarts. It's been a long time since I bought Pop-Tarts. 12 Pop-Tarts. That is going to go in probably a morning two boxes there of honey graham crackers for graham crackers and milk for breakfast and then amber has really been liking these kodiak cakes she, we normally pick these up at the walmart grocery area however they now carry the kodiak at least at our aldi in town so just the buttermilk not the chocolate or there's like another flavor too but then i saw this so this is the aunt maples brand and this would be the brand of like breakfast food that all these carries and they're also doing a protein oat pancake mix so I picked that up for her as well I think she's gonna like that I did just get six dozen eggs we actually have I think uh, 18 pack in the fridge right now normally I do 10 dozen a month you guys know but I'm I, this isn't a whole month of groceries it just isn't. This is a new product that I haven't seen before at well, at Aldi. Sorry, at Aldi's. Habanero Jack. That looked good. I did pick up cream cheese, and I feel like this is for the dessert. You want to tell us about it, Peter? Um, What's the dessert that you were looking through? So Peter loves to look through cookbooks, especially ones with pictures, and he loves to bring it to me. A red squirrel. squirrel. There is a red squirrel out there. Oh my goodness. And he loves to show me all the recipes that he wants us to make. Um, and the one we are going to make, it's called Raspberry Crunch Bars. Yes. And so I picked up the cream cheese for that. And then I also, I'll show you in a little bit some other things. Did I already show the string cheese, buddy? I think I did. And then back here we have more cheese. We have Colby Jack, two packs of those. One of those will be for when we make homemade mac and cheese. And when I say homemade mac and cheese, let me just, whoop. when I say homemade mac and cheese, let me just share what I do. I just boil up any old kind of noodles that we happen to have. Then I put in two big handfuls or I guess it depends on how many noodles I make, but I'll put in like two big handfuls of cheese a little bit of butter maybe two tablespoons of butter again just a dollop and then sometimes I put in just a tiny bit of milk it, it really depends stir it all up season salt it and serve it up that's homemade mac and cheese it's easy it's quick and the kids love it <laughs> then this sharp cheddar cheese here Peter I'm gonna have to look at my menu because I know I bought that for a specific reason and let's see why did I buy sharp cheddar cheese Oh, I think it's for the butter dips. That is a new recipe I'm going to try out of the same cookbook that Peter found the raspberry crumble or crunch bars. What are they called again? Raspberry what? Raspberry crunch bars. Raspberry crunch bars. The butter dips is a new recipe too. And hopefully I'll get around to showing that to you guys. Here are 
the French fried onions for the Western burgers, six pounds of butter. So I'm not sure if I ever shared this story with you guys, but one time I was in Aldi and I think I had only six pounds of butter in my cart, which I don't think is really obnoxious or whatever, but, but I saw a friend of mine and she like happened to look, glance down at my cart and she's like, oh, are you doing a lot of baking? I'm like, nope, we just eat a lot of butter. And she just was like, oh. <laughs> so yeah, we like butter here. Okay, back to what we got, cinnamon roll, creamer, and then I always get two creamers for the month. This is not gonna cut it though because this one is so much smaller, but I knew Amber would like it if I tried this almond milk one. And I got it in the color, color, I, and I got it in the flavor vanilla. Now I typically get anywhere from eight to 10 loaves of bread for the freezer for the whole month. But again, I wasn't in, my intent was not to shop for the whole month. So I got one 100% whole wheat and two of the whole grain white. This here was off of the Walmart day old rack. I love looking at that and I usually can find kind of some fun. They are called, buddy, they are called multi-grain ciabatta rolls. Cause they so, don't dress, cause yep. those are the same seeds on the everything bagel. Yep, they kind of look like an everything bagel. So I kind of thought- smell like <laughs> They do, bagel. they smell very good. I was kind of thinking these would be nice for when we serve up like sandwiches with all that lunch meat. This would really add to that style of sandwich. We'll see whoever likes it. I'm and not here. sure who's gonna like those. And then I did pick up a thing of all butter croissants because like croissants. you saw, <laughs> croissant, <laughs> because like you saw, we're gonna be having egg salad and I know Ew. everybody likes to have egg salad on croissants. Here are the buns for when we do the brats and hot dogs for lunch one day. Now let's go over here and peek at the fruit. I did pick up three packs packs. What are these called? Bunches. I picked up three bunches of bananas. We'll probably take a number of those along with us to the BMX track this weekend. One bag of the Gala apples and then strawberries were only $1.19 a pound so I did get two pounds of strawberries and then here are the raspberries. Oh my gosh guys I think these were $4.88 a pack. So basically $10 for this dessert for just the fruit. So I hope it's good. Peter always pulls me out of my comfort zone when it comes to some baking. So uh, yes, we're looking forward to trying that recipe. Some grapes, I was really disappointed. Last week I bought grapes at Walmart. They were only 99 cents a pound. And I thought, ooh, good, what a, what a deal. They molded within like 48 hours. And so it was such a disappointment. So I did pick up, you know what? We have to stir the soup. You know, last time I did this too. This is the leftover Marvelous Minestrone. Yes, I did not burn it. Okay, let's Good. keep the lid off of that and go back over here, Peter. Sorry, this is kind of scatterbrained here today. But where were we? Okay, so I was telling you about the grapes. I did pick up some grapes at Aldi today. I hope they're better. Still under the fruit, we got five pouches of dried cranberries. Mm -hmm. Now, do you guys know how to purchase dried cranberries? And when I say that, I mean, you have to look at the pouch itself. Look through the clear opening. I'm gonna try to get really good light here. So you really wanna look through the clear opening on the pouch and you wanna look to be sure that the cranberries look kinda glossy. If they look grainy or maybe sugary, they're gonna be a little dry and a little bit mealy. So it's really important to look at your cranberries before you just throw them in your cart. Make sure that they have a glossy appearance. Then that way you know they're gonna be chewy and really good. And then two big jars of applesauce. Okay, so one of the things that we're gonna be doing this, this uh, next week that's a brand new recipe to me is making our own homemade uh, egg rolls. So I've never bought these before. It was the only brand that Walmart carried. So I got these Nasoya egg roll wraps. And then I think this is what the recipe was calling for. It just said fresh broccoli um, stir fry mix. I said fresh, fresh chopped broccoli stir fry mix. So anyways, this says it has Brussels sprouts, cabbage, 
kohlrabi, broccoli, carrots, and kale. That looked to be about the right thing. And then I did have to pick up some sesame seed oil because I was actually out of that. And that, I found, does go rancid kind of easily. So, to go with salad, two things of Italian croutons. I'm not sure if I showed you guys the rice. I did get two things of rice, one brown, one white, both instant. Amber had requested that. We have plenty of the slow cook rice on hand, but she wanted this for like, I don't know, and she's just trying to make a fast lunch before work. And I don't think I showed this to you either. I did pick up a thing of ramen because we're out and we like that. All right, now for vegetables. What do we get, Peter? You want to tell them? What are those Peas. called? Peas. Yep. We got some peas. What's next? Um, Do you know what those are called? Those are Brussels sprouts, and those were reduced at Walmart, so I'm going to be cooking those up probably tonight. Mini cucumbers. Yep, that's a favorite. And do you remember what this was called? Uh, parsley. Yep, fresh parsley for a recipe that I'll be making. What do we have here? Green peppers. Yeah. Mm -hmm, that's good. Keep going. Three cucumbers. Yep, these are the English cucumbers. Two of those I'm going to use for that cucumber salad I was talking to you about. Then I did buy two of these garlic and herb riced cauliflowers. Those I will usually use for breakfast. And then here is the stir-fry mixes for the night that we do the the um, Chinese food. So I just got the chicken. I'll add chicken to this and that will make a nice easy supper for us this week. A thing of egg noodles. I think this might be for, I know there was a reason, but I can't think of it right now. Is it for the homemade macaroni and cheese? Maybe it's for the homemade macaroni and cheese. I did need another flour, and this is the only flour I ever buy. It's the Great Value All-Purpose Unbleached Flour. I like that a lot. Picked up another sugar. Just wanted to restock my baking, some brown sugar. Two of the mini chocolate chips. Baking powder. Baking cocoa. We have two birthdays coming up in August, and so I don't know if they're going to ask for cupcakes or not, but I thought I would get one chocolate. What is that? No, devil's food. And then one classic yellow, just in case they wanted cupcakes. We're almost out of lemon juice. We can use that in uh, marinades and for making buttermilk, and then also just for making lemonade. What else? What are you going to show next? Okay, we have two buttermilk ranch dressings. How about this? Pure almond extract. I think that's going to be for the... Isn't that in the raspberry crunch bars? I think, I think so. <clears throat> and I've had a lot of people ask whenever I talk about making jello squares uh, what exactly jello squares are. So I just thought... I mean, I've, I've answered that in the comments before, but I thought this time I would actually make it and show it on a video here sometime. Another ketchup. A thing of saltines because we were just about out. Pita crackers, because Warren likes those so much. One jar of salsa, that'll be eaten up in a hurry. Some of these cocoa almonds, it looks like they've gone back to their original uh, supplier. They've changed for a little while there, but no matter, they're good all the way around. Pistachios. Pistachios, sunflower, sunflower seeds. seeds, we'll put those on top of salads often. Cashews, Cashews for snacking at night during the news. Lemon Kool-Aid. Fruit punch Kool-Aid and grape Kool-Aid. Yep. And then over here for for the weekend and just to have some snacks to take along, I did pick up these Black Forest Fruity Duos. This was actually at Aldi's. These pouches of mini chocolate chip cookies. We won't eat all of this this weekend, but just to have a variety. Some granola bars because I know I'm not going to have time to make homemade ones here in the next 24 hours. Strawberry protein bars and some oat and honey crunchy, what are those? Crunchy granola bars. Okay, what else do we get? Amber had asked if I could pick up some more hummus again. She would like the spicy hummus, but they had this roasted red pepper in singles. And I thought that would be smart because then they would stay fresh longer because, you know, once you open up a thing of hummus, if you don't eat it quick, it can spoil, and that's a waste of money. Two of the Black Silk coffees. This month, you'll see I got the smaller ones, and that's simply because Walmart had them on rollback, and so they were cheaper 
quite a bit cheaper per ounce than the larger containers. So I got two of those. Two things of Pringles. These are just the little mini stacks. And those, that's one of Warren's favorites. I think the kids like these. Do you guys like these? Yeah, you do. The yogurt covered pretzels. Oh my gosh, some peanut butter cups. I don't know why I bought those. And then two bags of restaurant style chips. Those will go with the salsa probably. Uh-oh, we're going to lose stuff here. This, these would go good with the salsa, too. These would, too. The multi-grain tortilla chips. These are really, really tasty. And then over here, I do have some drinks. Peter's super excited to try these. Fruit and veggie tropical orange. And then just some of the other Aldi fruit pouches. I did get one case of the smaller bottles of water. Uh, we, you know, we fill up our own water bottles all the time, but sometimes when we're just in a hurry, oh, I did get three things of Gatorade here just to have when we're going to the track. And then since we had that power outage, we used up all the jugs of bottled water that we had. So I just picked up four because this was all that fit in my cart today. I would like to keep eight gallons on hand. So next time I'll pick up another case of that. So that is everything. I think I showed absolutely everything. Oh, the milk. How many gallons did we get? Six? Yeah. All right. So I think I got six gallons of milk. Hello, Joseph. Hello. You have peanut butter on your eye. How did that happen? <laughs> Okay, so that is everything for today's grocery haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and stay tuned because I will be having uh, what's for dinner videos coming up and that will show some of those new recipes that I just told you I was going to be making. We'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.